Welcome back to Strong Muscles. Did you know that amazingly, your heart beats about 100,000 times a day, pumping around 2,000 gallons of blood through your body. Meanwhile, your lungs expand and contract approximately 20,000 times a day to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. In this video, I'll show you the five best exercises that is good for your cardiovascular health, promoting and maintaining low cardiovascular risk including heart disease, stroke, and other diseases. But before we dive into these exercises, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to join our awesome community. Let's go! First, let's talk about why cardiovascular health is so important. Your cardiovascular health is vital because it significantly lowers the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other chronic illnesses. Regular cardiovascular exercise helps to reduce blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels, enhance blood circulation, and maintain healthy blood sugar levels. This, in turn, promotes overall longevity and well-being. All right, let's start with our exercise one, brisk walking. Brisk walking is a simple and accessible exercise that can do wonders for your health. Compared to normal walking, a brisk walk is about three miles an hour, which is faster than a leisurely walk. This pace gets your heart rate up and making you breathe a bit harder. You can tell you're at the right pace if you can still hold a conversation, but singing a song feels too hard. Research published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that people who walked briskly for just 2.5 hours a week reduced their risk of cardiovascular disease by 30% compared to those who were less active. Regular brisk walking improves blood circulation and lowers blood pressure by enhancing vascular function and increasing capillary density, which promotes vasodilation and strengthens the heart. It also helps lower LDL cholesterol by boosting fat metabolism and increasing LDL receptor activity, which regulates blood lipid levels. This regulation, along with improved insulin sensitivity, aids in better blood sugar control and reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes. For these reasons, aiming for at least 30 minutes of brisk walking a day, five times a week, can lead to substantial health benefits. 2. Cycling Cycling is a fantastic exercise that offers incredible benefits for our cardiovascular health. Compared to brisk walking, cycling can burn more calories per hour, especially when you ride at higher speeds or intensities. This intense activity engages and strengthens major muscle groups like the quadriceps, hamstrings, and calves, leading to more calories burned and improved heart and lung function. Regular cycling builds your heart muscles, making it more efficient at pumping blood throughout your body. This efficiency means your heart can deliver more oxygen and nutrients to your muscles and organs, both during exercise and at rest. Additionally, the rhythmic breathing during cycling expands your lung capacity and enhances oxygen exchange, improving overall lung function. Whether you choose to cycle indoors on a stationary bike or outdoors, aim for at least 150 minutes a week at a moderate intensity to reap these benefits. 3. Running When you run, very complex physiological reactions occur in your body to provide the increased oxygen and energy required. Under the direction of nervous system, your cardiovascular system, heart rate, stroke volume, vasodilation, blood redistribution, is increased to help with supplying the muscles more blood and oxygen. The respiratory system increases breathing for oxygen exchange in the lungs, energy production and active muscles. Forward movement is achieved via muscular contractions which are predominantly fueled by aerobic metabolism, with anaerobic pathways called upon during high-intensity demands. These will allow the body to sweat and vasodilate or dilate blood vessels, so it can lower the heat created by exercise. The aerobic response results in hormonal changes such as adrenaline and cortisol secretion for heart rate and energy use upregulation. Overall, running can vary from a light jog to a high-intensity sprint. Beginners should start with shorter distances and gradually increase their duration and intensity. 4. Swimming Like other cardio exercises, swimming offers fantastic cardiovascular benefits, enhancing both heart and lung function. It improves circulation, increases lung capacity, and promotes efficient energy metabolism. Research in the International Journal of Aquatic Research and Education found that swimming for just 30 minutes a day can reduce the risk of coronary heart disease in women by 30 to 40 percent, boosting cardiorespiratory fitness and lowering blood pressure. As an aerobic exercise, swimming strengthens the heart, allowing it to pump blood more efficiently throughout your body. This improved circulation ensures that all parts of your body, including your brain, receive the oxygen and nutrients they need. By enhancing circulation and cardiac efficiency, swimming reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. To effectively enhance cardiovascular health through swimming, it's important to incorporate a structured approach to your sessions. Try to swim for at least 20 to 30 minutes, three times a week. 5. Jumping rope. 
Jumping rope is a superb plyometric exercise that builds explosive power and agility. It challenges your entire body, from your calves, hips, glutes, and shoulders to your core, in a single coordinated motion. Despite its simplicity, this exercise elevates your heart rate, improving blood circulation and oxygen utilization, building cardiovascular endurance, regulating blood pressure and aids in weight management, reducing stress, and boosting metabolic rate. To maintain proper form and technique while jumping rope, try to keep your head up and eyes straight ahead. With relaxed shoulders slightly back, avoid hunching. Engage your core for stability and balance, and keep your elbows close to your sides with hands at hip level, rotating the rope with your wrists. Jump on the balls of your feet with a slight bend in your knees, just high enough to clear the rope, one to two inches. To absorb impact and avoid unnecessary strain and fatigue. Although 30 minutes of jumping is common, just 10 minutes of jumping rope can match 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise. If 10 minutes is challenging, try jumping quickly for a minute followed by a 30 second rest as a breather. Incorporating these exercises into your routine not only significantly will enhance your cardiovascular health, but also can aid in better weight management, reduce stress, and boost your metabolic rate. Remember, consistency is key. Aim to exercise regularly, combining different forms to keep your workouts engaging and effective. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.